Hi everyone, it's Renee from Lovely Lavender Wishes. Um, I'm gonna do an unboxing of your Creative Studios today. This is probably, actually this is one, um, this is the only subscription box that I get every month. I do get a few other things every once in a while, but this is one that I get every month because I just love her stuff. And so I figured it would be helpful if I unboxed it and show you a few other things that I've gotten over the last year or so from them. So then it would help you make a decision on if it's something maybe that you would like. Cause I know um, when I was first looking at subscription boxes, I really wanted to see what was in the boxes um, before I got them. And it was helpful when people unboxed things. So this is the July box I got it yesterday I was so excited y'all when I get this box I it's like Christmas so it's like oh my gosh I got the box so um, I'm gonna unveil I just opened it I haven't looked in it um, so I'm really excited to look into it with you guys um, but I just wanted to let you know that th this is she's more vintage Amanda this is a company from uh, Canada and her name is Amanda and she puts the most gorgeous things in these boxes and so I found that this was one of the only subscription boxes that I found that I actually used everything that I got in it and I had so much left over. There's so much that she, she puts in these. Um, so, I mean, I could literally do probably a hundred journals with the stuff I have with, from her kits. So, um, that, that's why I like them, but they are more vintagey. So if you're not into that, then this probably wouldn't be the subscription box for you. But if you are, let's look in and see what we get. Oh gosh, y'all. Every time she does the coolest little like welcome cards or thank you cards or just a little card. So you can put these in your journals as well. And then, oh y'all, look at her. Oh, I'm going to be really careful so I don't rip this. She always seals it with a sticker and then um, she's got this gorgeous, let's just put this here, she's got this gorgeous um, tissue paper. And you know, I'm all thinking I'm going to be doing a steampunk journal next. This is going to have to go into my steampunk journal. So she's got gorgeous tissue paper that she always wraps these in. Oh, look at it. This little little bag with a brad. I don't even know what's all in here. Look, this little tag. Thank you. Happy journaling, especially made for you, it says. Oh, it looks like it is a stamp. Oh, look at that. It's a bee flowers and bees looks like this whole thing is probably a bee theme she usually has themes every month um so they every so everything matches so when you are working on things all this will match and go together uh this looks like it is probably washi tape oh no nope totally wrong totally wrong what is this she always has these too. Let me see if I can get them out. Oh, y'all. There's more in there. But look at this. Oh, wow. Are these? I'm not sure if these are stickers or not. They might be stickers. I always have problems with stickers. So they're, they look like little stamps. And I think they are stickers. Look at, and you get, you get so many in each, like she can fit so much in such a little amount of space. But you could be using these for so many things. So they're like faux, faux stamps. And there's even some more in there. On the side. So cool. Okay. Oh, wow, y'all. Look at these. Ooh, it looks like it's a whole booklet of these stamps or these tickets. Look at that. Like I said, she does a lot of vintage stuff, and I just love the look of her things. Well, let's see if I can get that back in there. 
this is washi tape. I've been collecting a lot of her washi tape. This is a thin one. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. It's black and white. And it's got this kind of like a vine along it. It's so cool. Oh, y'all, look at this little. see it with the light it is a metal charm with a B and a clock oh my gosh this is gonna have to go on my steampunk album this is like perfect timing so I'm just getting ready to start a steampunk album oh look at this oh, she's got the most gorgeous things that she includes look at that it's a raised it looks like pressed flowers on the inside. Looks like a bookmark. So pretty. Oh, this looks like the paper or tags. Let's see. Again, the bee theme. Oh, it's a booklet. Opens up into oh, all these different papers. So these are papers. She's got a few different designs. Oh, how pretty, how gorgeous. Gosh, y'all. Every time I open up a box, I just love everything in it. Look at this. And again, she crams, like I said, so much in each box. So you could be using this a lot over and over again. And I love the fact that it all um, kind of coordinates. Oh, look. This is stickers. Oh, and that looks like this is vellum. Maybe stickers or vellum sheets. Oh, wow. Yes, stickers that you can cut out vellum. You get three sheets of those. Ooh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to work with these. Yeah, I'll try to put that in later. <laughs> oh, what are these? Black and white newspaper. They look like little stickies. Every month it's different stuff it's not always like paper or stickers or washi tape like she'll have a little she'll have some stamps and papers and stickers and things but there's always something different in there oh wow look at those so they're like let's pull one they're like like vellum I wonder if they're stickers or what it's smooth on this side they might be vel like small little vellum stickers. Let's see, I'm trying to see if I can. I always have issues with these. With my, I need some fingernails, y'all. Yep, yep, they are stickers. Look at that. So they're like mini vellum stickers. And oh my gosh, look at this. You get so many of each one. So fun, so fun. So fun, oh my gosh, y'all. So there's probably, I don't even know how many are in here. There's a lot. You could use these all the time for little embellishments and what have you. And then I love the way she packs everything too um, with her pretty, Pretty little bags and pretty little tissue paper. Oh my gosh, just keeps going. Okay, and then we get all these stamps. Again, the bee theme. Busy bee, be happy, just be, be kind, brave you, honey sweet. 
And then at the bottom, we've got oh, more stickers. These are sticker sheets. Oh, wow. Look how pretty. Gorgeous. So what I'll do is I'll put her link down at the bottom if any of you are interested. Um, it's your creative studios. Uh, she does sell out very quickly, so you can order a month at a time or up to, I think, three months, three or four months at a time um, if you are interested. Uh, but I will put her link down at the bottom. Oh, gosh. I'm so excited about that. But I did want to show you also, so that was this month. I have a bunch of her stuff, like, throughout my room, but I have some here in this, this, um, container that I'll show you. These are some of the things that I've gotten over the last, I don't know, few months from her, I guess. Um, look at this. Like I said, every time she'll put something different in her, in her box. Um, this is a quilling pen, a calligraphy pen. Look at how gorgeous that is. She has the most gorgeous stuff, y'all. Um, and this was one from a previous box. It's like a little ruler, um, that you can, use for tearing as well um or bookmark or whatever you want another one of the raised pressed flowers inside and then uh over the months she has sent out like washi tape like this like this um lots of stamps other washi tape like this um, this is a stamp, lots of stamps, um, and then lots of things like little ticket books, like stuff like this she'll send out. So these are vellum, like little tickets and ledgers, report cards and such. These are so fun to play with as well. I'm glad I got this out because I'm looking now and I'm thinking, man, I need to be using a lot more of this. I have so much. Like I said, I could probably put together a ton of journals with all. This is just some of it. I have other stuff like um, scattered throughout my room. But this will give you an idea of the kind of stuff that you can expect in her boxes each and every month. So you saw what was in the July box, and then these were some from some previous months. And unfortunately, I think they're all sold out, so you have to wait until they come, maybe come back around. I don't know um, if she ever, I haven't seen any duplicates ever, so um, we'll see. But these are just kind of some of the things that she'll send. And like I said, they're always different, and it's just, it's so exciting to open up one of her boxes. And look, like this is just, this was just in this little box, and you have probably, I don't know, maybe a hundred different, and these are, these are stickers as well. So vellum stickers. I mean, you can see that in just this little box here. Um, and she does that all the time. There'll be like little boxes full of stuff. Um, let's see. Like here's another sticker, uh, like ticket pad. Here's something, here's uh, st st stickers, uh, little vellum, die cuts. Here's um, like another little notepad and it's perforated so you can um, take the bottom part off or the top part off. We've got stickers, pressed flowers. Um, these are like little post-it sticker stamps right here. So each each month there'll be like a little theme too. Like here was a travel theme. Here was the flower theme. Um, here's some of her um, gorgeous uh, tissue paper that she'll send stuff in. But like I said, you know, this will kind of just give you an idea. Here's another one of her little uh, cards that she sends in. I like to keep those and put those in. Um, but you have things like little little stickers and tickets and papers and she'll she'll send um things like like vellum sheets um and like I, I just been kind of throwing everything in this box but this kind of gives you an idea of the type of stuff that you can expect in a your creative studios box 
But anyways, I hope that was helpful. Um, maybe that'll help you decide if you maybe, you know, want to, um, you know, check into it or not. I don't get any money. Um, I'm just passing on the information um, because I just, I love her boxes so much. I figured maybe some of you would as well. So um, if you like this style, you'll love her boxes because like I said, every time I get a box, I open it and it's like Christmas. And I, I just get so excited because I could use literally everything she sends. There have been some that I've gotten in the past where, you know, you might use a few things and then I'll pass on other things because I'm like, ah, this isn't really my style or whatever, but this is my style and I love it. So um, this is one of the few subscription boxes that I found that really matches what I'm doing with junk journaling and stuff. So if, if it's the same for you, you might really enjoy it. So anyways, I hope this was helpful for you all. Um, hope you have a very blessed day and I'll see you next time. Bye.